welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have a look at three different games again for this time for Windows 10 Mobile of course and uh, yeah we are going to have a look at three games which are Ownet Connect Classic Pikachu, Etaway App, it's called App but, but it's actually not an app, I don't know why it's called App, and um, yeah Doors and Rooms Escape King. And yeah, today I have got a couple of different things with me, which you already know, more or less, but uh, there is one exception, or better to say one thing, that is a little bit unusual because we have a gamepad supported game in this episode. So this one is going to be in there. And of course we are going to use a Bluetooth mouse like this one, and we are going to use a foldable keyboard, come on. It's this one, which is of course Bluetooth enabled too. And yeah, uh, other than that, of course, everything is done by our mighty uh, Lua 950XL, which is this smartphone here with a um, muscle cover at the ba uh, back, which is a wooden cover. And um, the, the smartphone offers, of course, a USB-C connector at the bottom, so we can connect it with a USB-C cable to the display dock, which is standing at the side here. And the display dock itself is connected to the TV like this, so we can uh, yeah, more or less get the output from the smartphone to the TV. And the special thing about this is, the smartphone is simulating to be a PC now, so it can see that there is a different resolution and it will give us a different user interface here from the normal smartphone one. And like that, we can, for instance, connect everything we already talked about, like for instance, this mouse to it and use it more or less similar to a desktop system with a mouse and stuff like that. If you want to know more about all this, have a look at the corner of there, there's a couple of different informations and other videos where I'm talking more about this technology. Other than that, let's start with the first game, which will be in our case, Onet Connect Classic Pikachu. Um, why is it called Pikachu? I'm really not sure. Probably Pikachu has some other name, but the Pokemon we are all uh, yeah, known, or which we all know, but whatever. Uh, Onet Connect Classic Pikachu, here we go. Um, it's a Connect game. Connecting is something a little bit different than, for instance, something like Three Wins or so, because um, it does a little bit of a different thing. I'm going to click on the play button here. Um, it's pretty web-based, but still nice. I think it's a still nice game. Um, we have a nice little... Um, yeah, soundtrack or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to turn it down a little bit using the, the action keys on my keyboard. I can do that. And um, yeah, in the end, what you are going to do here is, of course, the connect uh, uh, game, which means that you are connecting um, yeah, similar pictures in this case, more or less, to each other. And they have to be freely connectable, so um, they have to find some kind of a traceable way without anything in the yeah, any obstacles more or less. And um, like that we can connect all the different things with, uh, with each other and win the levels like this. And um, what you can see, you can pick from one of those different packs here. So if you want to play with animals, uh, use this one. This one is yeah, sweets and this one is fruits st and stuff like that. And so you can just select which you want to play. I'm going to go with the animals one. You can select any you want there. It doesn't really matter because only the pictures are different. I think the, like the game experience or something is really the same. And as you can see, um, the game is now to select more or less two of the same kind and connect them to each other. And here you can already see we have gaps between that. And so we can just select one of those uh, squirts there and the other one and do it like this. And yes, this is more or less now uh, for you to get it in a certain time frame and get, of course, as many uh, experience points or, or whatever it is, so, so score points in this case, um, from it. And as you can see, we can now just select those two, for instance, and he is going to get a traceable way to them. Important, it doesn't uh, use more than, I think, uh, one of the edges there. So if you are going to have to go around a couple of different other things, it's not going to work. You will have to get it done in this way. Okay, and now just, um, yeah, more or less empty the, sp uh, the playground here. So what we are going to do, we are going to try to find different 
different animals which are really connectable with each other. It's not always perfectly easy. So as you can see, I already got this this whole room here, but there's nothing I can connect here because all of the different animals are very, very different other than maybe the oil, oil here. So let's get that one. But other than that, I think nothing is connectable anymore. At this point, doesn't really matter because we can, of course, go other routes here, try to get different other things and open up new spaces and new parts of the map more or less to connect to other things too. So um, being just not able to, uh, to go along with this doesn't really matter that you are stuck or something. It can be, but it doesn't have to be like this. Okay, so let's have a look. There we got two similar ones too. Here are two similar ones. And let's see. This is sometimes possible too, because you can go over the, the rounds here. I'm not sure why, but it's fine. And um, yeah, let's connect those. Go around is no problem. So just go wherever you want there. Yeah? Um, but for instance, if you wanted to connect, let's say, the bird here with this bird, this is not possible because there's no direct connection to it. I'm going to turn around for one second, just to see everything in a better way. But this is more or less what we can do here. And now, for instance, this is obvious, we can do that. And here is something that might not work because we would need two connection pipes, but we will see. No, it died. Okay, it, it's gone the other way, so it worked. This one might work too, okay. This one, for instance, is technically possible. You would have to go this way, this way, here, around, here, around, here, but he's not going to recognize it. So this is too complex to run around. So you will have to get a uh, yeah, more to direct way to go there. And like this, we are going to try to get everything done. Same with the panda here. That is not going to work out because too many ways he has to overcome here. This one will. Let's see what we can do other than that. I am pretty sure this is not going to work. No. Okay. Same with this one. Nope. Not working neither. So let's see what we can connect additional to that hello. Shouldn't there be okay this one might work, I'm not sure, no. We will have to get rid of this first, which is not done easily, so we will have to go another round. This one. Yeah, this one is working already. So let's see what we can do. And as you can see, there's a timer running up and you might lose this because the timer is not matching your skills or whatever. You're not fast enough in the end. This is not... Nope. I'm pretty sure we are going to lose this. But this is more or less what you want to get here and how to work this game. I think you already know how it's done. It's sometimes just a little bit more complex or harder to do than you would think. And as you can see, we got a little bit of, of things here, but we didn't finish the level. So now you would start again with a higher score. You are getting better and better, of course. And this is more or less what this game is all about. Yeah, if you like this kind of puzzle game, a little bit of puzzle game, whatever, just try it out. I think it's a pretty nice one and you can try it out without any kind of problems. Um, Betway app is the next one we are going to have a look at and it's a pretty nice one, I think. Um, one yeah, thing you really have to know about this game is that there is sometimes inappropriate uh, advertisement in here. So big disclaimer, don't go uh, on, the, on the website that is linked there sometimes. And uh, it's pretty easy. So I'm going to click on that and you will see that you shouldn't do a go there. In some situations at least, we don't have it in each and every one, but in some it might happen. 
It takes a little too long, that's is normal for some reason. And this should be the game. There we you can see it's going to a pretty obvious one where she's asking us, are you 18 or plus? No, I'm not going to click that. So in the end, this is a game. Um, you can play it with the controller because this uh, or the gamepad. So this is a pretty nice thing to do. Um, I find it hard to control, but still it is pretty playable and pretty nice if you if you are going to get accustomed to it. And in the end, I'm going to turn around and show you what this game is all about. A pretty easy to play one. Sometimes I'm not sure if we are connected at the moment, so to be sure, just hit the button here for a longer time. It's only because of the Bluetooth connection for the Xbox One as well, this controller in this case. If I'm clicking on that and just reconnecting it while the game is already running, it should be working. I'm, yeah, you can already see it. I can switch through the different menu icons now. That is how it's supposed to be. And now I am not really sure if we can, yeah, we can't select anything with this, it's just for going around for some reason. But, but that doesn't really matter because the, the game itself is pretty easy to play with this kind of, of setup too. So all I have to do now is select of course the stage and we are going to start with the first one here. Click on that and wait a little. And there we go. And now you are just going to run around here and what you want to do is really uh, not fly against stuff and I already did it. Um, so in the end all you want to have to do here is really press the button or the little the little um, stick here and of course you can, uh, can collect all the different lights you see there. That's more or less what you should do here and now just run around and try not to fly against stuff like I did here because my brain wasn't thinking in the right direction. So in the end you are pressing left or right on the stick and running around and trying to get a higher high score. And, and ah, okay, that is slowing me down even more. So there are power-ups like this. If you are going to this, now I can for instance restrain one of the pits there more or less. And of course we are going to Okay, I got that one working out. It's a little bit hard to sync because uh, if you are at your head level there, you have to press in the opposite direction or whatever you want to call that of what you are thinking. So it's a little bit hard to, to stay tuned on that, especially with a uh, slower uh, ones uh, and stuff like that. But in the end, I really like the game. Try it out with the controller. If you don't have a controller, it doesn't matter. You can use, for instance, your uh, keyboard too. That is going to work with WASD in this case. So press D e or the other key, uh, yeah. D or A in this case, sorry, I looked down and didn't see it coming. Um, but press D or, or A in this case to run your... Okay, not fast enough. Um, to run the little aircraft or spacecraft or whatever that is around on this here too. And you can really play it, yeah, close to as good as with the controller too. It really doesn't matter which one you are using. It's close to similarly hard to do this game. But I think it's running pretty... Ouch. It's pretty uh, running pretty fine and you should be able to get into where you want to play here. And yeah, if you like this kind of game, it's a little bit of a 3D game and a little bit of a nice one if you think uh, so. Um, try it out. I think it's worth playing. Okay, and the last game in our episode today is of course Something yeah, pretty much nice and um, it's called Doors and Rooms Escape King um, I think it's a pretty nice game. Sorry Come on press. There we go. 
um, where you're going to play an escape room game more or less. So in the end um, it's always, or at least for the first stage, so there are stages and um, there are sub-stages more or less. And the first stages are going to be the same uh, levels more or less with different yeah, kind of, of rules and tasks you are going to have to go through. And um, you will have to escape from this room. Um, if you are starting, it's really, really simple. So the first, I would say, five sub-levels or something like that, sub-stages, are that easy that you think, okay, um, come on, uh, who am I that I can't play that? As you can see, there are going to be a couple of different sub-stages. So each of the keys you can see here is a sub-stage. I'm already in this kind of level there. I'm it's a rusty key part. As you can see, this is a more or less a scene you're going to play. And now I'm just going to click on that and turn around to show you. Um, yeah, as mentioned before, I'm going to show you the first two levels or something like that there. And um, they are really, really simple. So the first one is really just find out what you have to do and you have to escape. And escaping is just done by pressing on the door. Okay, very, very simple, nothing to write home about. Second one is, yeah, a little bit harder, but similarly hard, I would say, because as you can see, you can't open the door at the moment, so you will have to get rid of this little part here, and now you can go out. Very, very simple too. Um, yeah, there is a little bit of soundtrack, or better to say, sounds running in the background, it's nice enough. And um, in the end, what you are really going to do here is trying to get out of this, this cage, as you can see. In general, the door is closed. And now we can, for instance, get something in our inventory, which is this one, and now use this in uh, different ways. For instance, we can hit this floor here, grab that, and in there, there was something that we can use to come out of this. How you could see it, I'm not sure, because you can't really scroll or zoom or something. It's just meant to be there's something interesting, hit it with a hammer, it's going to be broken and then you get something to get out. But that's fine. It's an escape room, you should have to puzzle a little bit. And it's harder and harder the longer you play the game. So, in this case, of course, the door is locked again, so nothing happening. So we are going to have a look into this. There is something in there, and the first stage is really more like a tutorial one or whatever. So if we click on this, you can already see this is something you could use, but it's yeah more or less in this little box or whatever it is. So dismantle is the one we have to play here, and get the key out, in this case this one, use this, and use it with the door of course, and go out. So very easy, but still you are learning from all of this that you can do different things with the different uh, st uh, stuff you are finding here. In between there might be some kind of advertisement like this, but sometimes there is nothing, so they are going to send you back to the game. If there is something you have to watch through it or yeah, jump over it, it depends. And as you can see we got this and there is something interesting too, and if we have a look at that, this, for instance, we can observe this, seems like batteries or something. So we are going to combine those, first go out of observe mode, and we are going to combine those, this one combined, come on. Okay, use, oh, no, we can't do it like this, so go back here, this and this, Combine, there we go, we have some kind of a remote control and we can now use this and there's of course something yeah, odd of, uh, compared to the pictures before we saw this. So just use this, click on the hole here and there's going to be some kind of a, I'm not sure, a train or something we can uh, tell to drive around. Now we get this little key and we can use it and go out of this. And so the stages are going to be more complex, harder to solve and stuff like that. Sometimes you really have to think a little and sometimes you really don't. Um, and after a while you should be able to play again. Okay, now this one was pretty interesting because I didn't know the 
combination here. So this is closed off, of course. We can go to this. We can't see anything here. So first of all, I thought, hey, maybe fingerprints or something like this, or we can I can find it out in a different way. But we really can't. And for some reason or the other, I just started clicking around. And after a while, I'm not sure how or why I received it. There we go. You see, somewhere there, I'm not sure why, there is some kind of a paper. On the paper is written 2531 to go out here. So there, 2531, green light, we are out because we got the key here. We can go in, use this key on the door and get out again. Yeah, and it's going to be harder and harder the longer you play this and the longer you are going to try to solve the different puzzles, it's going to be harder. Um, this one, for instance, okay, we've got now a real, um, a real thing to watch. In some situations you can, of course, skip it. In some you can't. Just try it out. And um, in the end, what you can see here is some kind of uh, explosion device, more or less. So if we go here, you can already see, okay, there are a couple of different um, yeah, lines here we will have to cut. And there is a yeah, very de uh, decent or, or yeah, really, really somebody is trying to give us a little bit of a hint because we got uh, scissors here. And the information red, green, yellow has to be cut. Scissors on the ground here, so get that. Go in here again. Go to your inventory and use the scissors. And in this case, you can already see it there. It's red, it's green, it's yellow. It's fine now and we can go out. Yeah, and I think I will leave all the, uh, the, the other stages and stuff like that for you to play because I don't want to show you everything. But you already see it's a nice game if you like something like a puzzle game or something. It's not bad to play it and it really gives you a little bit of a nice time if you're playing it. At least I think so. So, and I would say let's leave that game too. And this was of course the last game of the episode. I hope you had fun with it. Try it out. Uh, as always, the different uh, games are going to be linked down below in the, uh, the description. And other than that, thanks for watching. If you like this game, the episode, the games, whatever, um, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't subscribe to now, there's a button down below too. So click on that. And if you want to talk about something or yeah, whatever, do a comment or whatever, go to the commentary section down below and I'm going to try to answer you for your comments. Thanks for watching, have a great time, have a great day, fun with other episodes if you want to, and other than that, thanks and bye. Bye!